progressive volumes. In this topic we will be looking at the use of fencing to update surfaces after each survey of an excavation. We will start with an existing surface and progressively update a combined surface after each survey. We have created a new project called Quarry under the volumes training area and we are using the configuration getting started survey. So we are going to start off by reading in the multiple survey ASCII files. We will do this slightly different. This time we are going to read in multiple files at once. Select File I.O. Data Input 12DA 4DA. Click on the Advanced tick box and we are going to browse back up to the folder Volumes and simply select that folder. You will now see a list of all the 12D ASCII files including the ones that we have entered earlier. The ones we are concerned with are the ones that basically start with Quarry. So we have Quarry April 2009, Quarry March 2009 and Quarry May 2009. We are not going to use any of the prefixing so we can simply highlight the top and then click right click clear. And then we select read. We just move the panel out to the side. You should see all the models. Again you will see there's they are separated this time by date and the tins. Firstly let us have a look at the March survey. So if we turn off all the models that do not start with 2009-03 or the 2009-03 tin, we will toggle on the contours just to check the surface. You will note that this surface has a boundary around the edge which will be used in subsequent calculations. This time instead of actually saving the models away to a file, we will use a different option which will tag the models. So if we select Project, Management, Tags, we click on Tags and click on the Insert icon and the tag name will be March Survey. We then click Update Details, we then click on the Tag Objects tab and we pick the view icon, select view 1 and then select tag objects update details. The benefits of tagging the data is that you can turn on a tag or use it for any sort of selection criteria. If you wanted to see what was inside a tag you would simply call up the tag, click on objects and click retrieve and it would list the models and strings inside that tag depending on whether you tagged strings and models, strings only or models only. We are going to do the same for the April and May surveys. So let's turn off all the data, turn on the 2009-04 models and again create a tag, project management tags, click on tags, insert, and this time we've got our April survey click update details, click on tag objects and again pick the view, tag objects, update details. We can leave the panel active while we now turn this data off and we will turn on the May surveys. So again over here click on tags, insert, May survey, update details, click on the Tag Objects tab, so View 1 is already set, so Tag Objects, Update Details. You will see now we have got three tags over on the left. If we finish this option now and turn off all our data, let's have a look how we can turn on just a tag of data. If we click on the Menu button, walk right on Models, walk right on Tag Models and let's turn on March and you will see the March data appears. OK, so we are now going to have a look and check that all the tins fit within each other. If you go and turn off all your data and to just turn on the tins, if you go and toggle off your contours, and you can also go toggle tin solid. This is a good way to check the actual location of the tins. 
you can see here that one of the tins, the um, the Mart, the April survey is not shown. So what we can do here is go menu, models, model order, and we can just move the the orders around. So if I just move that up to the front, you, you can see those two sections of the April survey. Okay, so we're going to start off by calculating the volumes between March and April. So we'll just turn off the May tin and we'll turn off tin solid and we'll also turn on the April survey. We select the option design, volumes, exact, tin to tin. The original tin is 2009-03, the new tin is 2009-04. The volume report will be April volumes. We have either the ability to pick one polygon at a time and append the reports or we can use a model of polygons. So let's use a model of polygons and we go to middle click and pick on the edge of the excavation and click volume. And see here you'll see the two volumes are brought up in the same file. We're also going to check the volumes a different way. We're going to use the option design, volumes, tin to tin height range. Again we pick the two surfaces. We're going to do a one meter grid, so it's basically doing a volume by grids. We're going to select a range file which will allow us to break it into heights. So we click on the folder icon and browse back up to the volume area and you'll see quarry.hrf. If you open that file, you'll see the volume the heights that we're broken into one meter slices. Click finish. We're not going to pick a polygon as there's two actual separate areas and we're going to add it to the April volumes report file. So click volume and then append. So we've got our original volumes and then we've got a volume that combines them all together. So if you add 9600 to 7800 you'll get 17400. We're now going to combine the March and April surfaces in readiness for doing the May volumes. To, firstly we're going to turn off all the models except for the top of banks in 2009-04 and we're going to create a parallel string 10 millimeters outside each one to act as the fence boundary. It's good practice to do this as opposed to fencing exactly at a string because the data that would then get created would have crossing break lines. So up in the CAD area we're just going to uh, null out anything in the name for the model we're just going to type in temp and we're going to give it a different color to what's there. Green is fine. We go to the CAD string toolbar and go out to parallel. We pick with direction along the line so in a clockwise direction the offset will be minus 0 0.01 enter the height difference will be zero. We'll do the same for the other string and this time the defaults are there. Press enter twice it's created a string just 10 millimeters off the edge. Okay, now we're going to create, now we're going to turn back on the original 2009 models and we're going to make a copy of what's outside those fence strings that we've created. To do this we use the option utilities, fence, multi-fence. Right, the data we're going to fence is everything in view one the model of fences, if we go middle click, we can actually pick on one of the temp models. And the models for fence outside will, will be 200904 space extra. Okay, we click fence. Now we just turn off our 200903 models. If you were to now turn on the 200904 extra models, you'll see it's made a copy and it's clipped the string at the temporary model string that we created. We can now turn off that temporary model and turn on the rest of the 2009-04 models 
and we can now create a composite surface of the previous 2903 and the new 2904 models. So we're going to create a tin, tins create triangulate data and we'll call it tin space 2904 space combined and we'll just copy 2904 combined and press enter again we'll give it the color orange and we're going to go to our data tab and we're going to pick the view view 1 and the nulling will be our null polygon that was carried over from the previous month and click triangulate if we then go to our plus button we can turn on 10 2904 combined if we go to the toggle button we can turn on the contours and you'll see the updated surface at any time we can view the excavation in a perspective view if you select view new perspective open GL and we can turn on the 10 2904 combined and go to your toggle button and click on shade we can simply then just orbit around and you'll see the surfaces have been combined there we'll now return to plan view 1 and we'll calculate the volume between the combined April survey to May so we'll turn off our tin turn on the 2905 models and we're going to use the option design volumes exact tin to tin pick the original which will be 2904 combined the new tin will be 2905 we're going to give it a report file which will be may space volumes we're going to use one polygon this time so we click on the icon and pick out on the edge and select volume again we can we could have checked it with that height range option but we won't worry about that lastly we're going to now combine the May survey with the previous 2904 combined one so we're going to turn off our 2904 models again we're going to create a temporary or use a temporary model we're going to firstly clean out the temporary model if you go models clean and clean out temp click clean yes and we're going to create that parallel string again this time we'll pick this string and again the values are already predefined and if we turn on the 2904 models including 2904 extra okay so again we use the option utilities fence this time we just go fence because we only have one fence string the, the data to fence is view one the fence is the green string the model for fence outside will be 2905 space extra and click fence if you now turn off all your 2904 models turn on your 2905 extra models you'll now see that it's trimmed again at that string and we'll just turn off temp and we can now do a combined surface for 2905 tins create triangulate data 10 2905 combined 2905 combined and we'll give it a color gray we'll pick the data which will be view 1 and again the null polygon will be the original edge so we click triangulate finish if we go to our perspective view we can turn off that tin and let's turn on the new combined tin 